lot of you might know me. My name is Stephanie, EFL committee leader. Uh, but a lot of you might know me more as a Mida mom. Uh, we lost Gwen last year and uh, are here today because of her and a lot of our other Mido warriors. Um, so thank you all just for coming and being here and supporting her um, and all of the Mido warriors that we have here today. This is my husband, Nick. Thank you, so. So, um, <laughs> what I just wanted to remind everybody why we're here. So we're here for all the Mido warriors. Um, so let's just keep talking about all of us, all the accomplishments that they've, um, you know, done over the last year in raising money for this walkathon. So this is our first year back um, because of COVID. So the last two years have been virtual. Um, this year we hit our goal of 20,000, which is a huge deal. Um, and we did that all before the walk even started. So. Everyone, we couldn't do it without you. You know, you guys make the impact that um, can allow this organization to keep supporting, you know, all the vital warriors and, and all the families and caretakers. So again, thank you. We can't thank you enough. I mean, you're gonna hear me say that a lot today. So we have eight teams registered this year with an astounding 168 walkers. Um, some may be virtual, but I think we have a good portion of that here today. So seriously, thank you again. We have a lot of special people here with us today. I just kind of want to highlight that in the crowd. If you guys are from out of state, maybe, can we like raise your hand? Yes. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Thank you guys. If you had to maybe travel more than like an hour or, or two, like, can we see your hand? Yeah? Wow. We definitely want to call out a special, special thank you to our medical staff um, and, you know, anybody who is a, a medical specialist. So, can, can we see those? Yeah? Okay, okay. We got a couple of jobs. Thank you guys for all of your commitment and hard work. We have with us uh, UMBF representatives, ambassadors, and our um, UMB, UMBF president, uh, Tanya and Brian here today, so we're going to go ahead and pass things off to them. Thank you guys. So I'm really excited to be here with you today. My name is Tana Hanscom and I'm the special event manager for the foundation. So I work with all of our Energy for Life walkathons across the country. I want to thank Nick and Stephanie for stepping up into the co-chair role this year. We have um, some great committee support as well with the Holmes family, but um, just to step up this first year and jump in. Right? Um, it just means so much, I know, to all of our families that are here today, um, and to your family, um, that you did that. So we really appreciate it. And I want to thank all of you for coming out to support um, UMDF and to honor Gwen and Abigail, Megan and Hannah, Lincoln and Lucas, Melody, Natalie, Stephen, Caleb, Christopher, Olivia, and all of our Mito Warriors. Your support today not only helps our families here in Indianapolis, but throughout the world. Our mission is being an impact because of you here today. And to tell you about that impact is our president and CEO, Brian Harmon. Thank you, Tanya. Wow, I have to say, um, so this is the first walk uh, I've been back to since uh, the pandemic, and we gotta go virtual. And I'm getting a little choked up talking about it. Yeah, there's something special about pulling into a big parking lot like this on a beautiful day for a walk and seeing a sea of folks who are committed to help moving this mission forward and helping our patient families who are on this daily grind. And I can't thank you enough. There's, there's just something different about being here and being together. When we move our mission forward, when we're taking care of patients and bringing programs to life for our community, it takes a care team, right? So it's mom and dad and doctors and nurses, teachers, uh, the, the lovely lady at church who makes a pan of lasagna and brings it over to you, staff, volunteers with blood, sweat, and tears. And part of that care team is a community who steps up to say, we're gonna help power these resources, we're gonna raise money, we're gonna raise awareness, and probably more importantly, we're gonna get together and let this community know that we care about mitochondrial disease and the patients who are on these journeys. So we can't thank you enough for bringing that spirit with us today. I wanna to share a little bit about just about where these precious fundraising dollars go. 
here at UPF. We take this job very seriously. You're out here asking folks to support your fundraising teams, and we know it's not easy to ask for money sometimes, so we take our job very seriously of putting those good dollars to work. Our organization for 25 years has been supporting vital patients and families in a number of ways, providing for support for patient families. When you call at UMPF, you get a concierge service to connect you with other families, support groups online, uh, ambassadors across the country, a shoulder to lean on for our patient families. Patient support is something that is integral to connecting families to our community. Education is a place that we spend a good amount of our resources and time. We have an annual symposium every year where we bring the best and brightest researchers around the globe and patient families together so they have an opportunity to connect, to share the latest in science, the latest in care for patient families and those on their mitochondrial disease journey. We've created new resources online like our Mito University platform that allows individuals to go on and learn more about their Mito disease. And then advocacy, we have a strong voice on Capitol Hill. We've got a team in Washington, D.C. who's making sure that those who make decisions that could affect our patient families are doing so in a way that supports our agenda, so that helps unlock research dollars for us. Every year, we do some local work on an advocacy standpoint, too. And another great place to get involved. Uh, again, fundraising may not be the easiest for everyone. We're so grateful you've done that. But consider becoming an advocate for UMDF to help bring your voice to Capitol Hill and to your state legislation. And then the last piece is our research portfolio, probably the place that we aim to have the greatest impact. Charting a course towards treatments, and charting a course towards ultimately towards a cure. So we're trying to find the best science, no matter where it is in the world, put these precious dollars to work and put the work down. And we have a couple of key programs that help us get that going. One of the first things is our genetic testing project, something we just recently launched that has helped families shorten their diagnostic journey on a pathway to getting a diagnosis for mitochondria. It's so important as we try to enroll in clinical trials and move therapies forward is to have good genetic testing. We launched a patient registry called MitoShare. I'm sure you've seen this in our emails. I encourage you all to check that out. Um, short of a, a, a well-designed patient registry where we can better understand the disease, we can't move research forward. So that's an important piece that wraps it all up. And then continuously making investments in those bright minds who wake up every day, kicking down doors, toiling over this work. Um, if you've ever get a chance to meet some of our researchers, talk about inspiring. Um, they wake up and this is their grind. Their grind is to take care of us and take care of it now. Um, in short, I can't thank you enough. You are the people behind all of these activities. And outside of fundraising, which is very cash stuff, is so important what we do. This is what brings it all together. Being together, inspiring each other, and coming together to help shorten this journey for so many families. Thank you so much for joining us again today. We have a lot of partnerships uh, with this walk, and a lot of them uh, have helped us get here today. Uh, so specifically, want to call out um, our national walk sponsor, US, UCB, I'm sorry. Um, and then we do have a community investor sponsor, Homies Hope. So just really want to thank both of them. Um, and then of course we have, our companies have stepped up a lot um, recently as well. So Salesforce and CDW, um, thank you guys so much. Um, and our in-kind sponsor as well uh, with them. So thank you guys so much for all that you've helped us today. If we just want to kind of have everybody come up to the stage, walk over. Uh, what about Team Megan? Team Olivia? There's Lincoln's Hope.